I'm going to demo brute forcing uh, hotel room keys. So these are actually magnetic stripe uh, hotel keys. So they're hotel keys with the actual mag stripes. So they're not the RFID or near field communication ones, uh, the 1356 uh, ones that are actually wireless. These are actually injecting mag strip data using a device that Sammy, or Sammy uh, Camcar came up with about oh, probably about three or four months ago. And it was actually something that was invented by a company that Samsung bought uh, probably about three or four years ago. But it's actually, uh, this underneath it is an actual MSR605, which is a mag strip reader and writer. And it's basically going to inject the data from the hotel room keys because it's a proprietary protocol. So I'm going to read the raw data, and I'm going to actually show you how it's a bad idea to make your uh, actual hotel keys off of uh, folio data, username, or uh, actual folio data, and checkout dates. So that's where the data is randomized. So if you're able to grab your own hotel key, you're able to brute force the folios because they go incrementally. So I'm going to go over some of the features of that. And uh, this. also I'm going to go into how a uh, cheap Chinese-made MP3 player can uh, inject credit card numbers into an a ATM machine. So I'm going to go into the demo here. So we're going to start uh, actually sniffing out hotel room keys here. So one second. We want to switch it to raw data. And that's our first scan. As you can see, it's actually injecting it from the phone. And yep, now it's brute forcing it. So it's doing a, probably about an attempt every other second. And in about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, it'll actually have the, the actual room key. So and I'm going to put a high, re high resolution of this actual video. So and right down here. So that's basically what, oh, seriously. <laughs> Thanks Microsoft for blowing up my demo, but yeah, here. So, so basically, I don't know why my phone's not focusing. So yeah, basically there's the folio number. Oh, that is so shitty. <laughs> so yeah, now you can see the data a little bit better. Yeah, I'm actually going to start injecting other data here. And if we move that off and put the cheap Chinese MP3 player over it. And there we go. And that is actually injecting credit card data now. And I switched it to a credit card standard or ISO standard and yeah so that's pretty cool that's actually uh, if you could imagine the concept being used on actual ATM machines and seriously <laughs> Microsoft uh, is blowing up my demo again here so I but I will uh, post a higher quality video tomorrow I just wanted to go over the proof of concept on this and here's basically it works on pretty much any MSR or excuse me, it works on the MSR 605, uh, the th uh, 203 that I have, which is a just a card reader. And it actually works on a lot of the square devices and other stuff. And you can actually use the near field communication antenna to cause EM interference. And I'm going to post a link to this, uh, the Sammy Camcar video. It's actually really awesome. So thanks for watching, and I will post a better video tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, so here's a demonstration of um, how it can be used on the ATM machine. You don't even have to shove it in the actual ATM machine. It's just uh, had to take the actual amp off the uh, actual Chinese MP3 player, or the ground off the MP3 player on the amp. So, yeah, so this is basically the high resolution of the demo. Uh, for some reason, my phone wouldn't focus. So, yeah, this right here is the first read, which it was basically uh, that little EM field that was being created is speaking magnetic card data remotely about an inch away from the actual uh, device so it's or where the actual reader is so instead of having the card being swiped it's actually injecting them and right now it's brute forcing folio numbers which are incremental which are uh, what the numbers that hotels use uh, for what your actual file is for when you stay at a hotel you are issued a folio number everything that you charge is uh, actually put into that so so it was basically brute forcing um, like I said it, it takes about 15 minutes for it to actually brute force the um, encryption that I was using and yeah, it kept popping up there but 
as you can see, it basically says your name, your room number, and then the actual folio number, which uh, these ones are only like 50 or, or 50 or 60 apart. So it's something where uh, expiration date didn't change. So it literally took me probably about eight, 18 seconds, something like that, for this one to be cracked. And it actually goes through and re-encrypts it in the uh, proprietary protocol, uh, the actual tool that I developed. So, And as you can see on this one, you can't see because it's out of frame, but uh, I actually started injecting credit card data with the actual mp3 player which basically like i was saying i just took some uh, modified it so it grounded out the actual headphones so it was creating a ton of interference and then i took the uh, actual ground off the amplifier and uh, just put it straight on there instead of having a resistor in line so and it made a ton of interference and then i was able to actually play uh, i have an oscilloscope which i actually will uh, add a picture of the end here of how i actually uh, listened to see what it was looking for then modified the mp3s or the outputs of the sound files and actually got it to play credit card data. So you could literally have hundreds of songs <laughs> that are basically credit card uh, numbers, or you could actually load, you could generate an MP3 off of um, your mag strip data on your hotel room key and play it that way off the MP3 player. Uh, the MP3 player would probably burn out after about five or six minutes. So it is, or the amp, or the actual amplifier would. So, but the actual outboard gear that I have for the other portion of the attack, the one that works with the HTC M8. That one is uh, made so you don't actually burn out your radio. Because the one that Sam, uh, Sammy Camcar came up with, it does uh, shed a lot of heat, so it's not the best for brute forcing, but I give him kudos because he's the reason that I you know, thought of this idea. So.